Hello everybody! Welcome to the start of a new week. We are going to be getting into some eBay sales right after this. Never took a left. Aww, oh, that car was a jack of you. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. This looks terrible. Alright, so today, Tuesday, June 29th. Today was crap. Was <laughs> was not a good day. Um, heading into the July 4th holiday. We kind of figure that people are probably not going to be paying too much attention to online shopping. So we ran a sale starting tonight uh, to boost some sales. And from the looks of the way sales were today, we were right. <laughs> because we only sold 11 things today, which wasn't terrible, but uh, not great either. So uh, starting off with this, uh, these are Abercrombie & Fitch Jungle Leaf Chino Khaki Pants. Woo! Look at these. They are. That is jungle leaf. That's the best way to describe them. Uh, $17 for these, plus shipping. Sold a heritage book. This is uh, The Red and the Black. Cut and dry. Can't get much more cut and dry than that. This book had a few issues, as you can see the spotting on it. Uh, $10 for this, plus shipping. Sold a uh, vintage Mattel Barbie Fold and Fun. Old and fun house. It's right here. It's heavy. Here it is. It's a house that folds up for Barbie. There you go. Uh, we got this at an auction. I didn't pay too much for it. Um, I think 15 bucks. Sold it for 60 plus shipping. So not a bad return on that one. Uh, these couple bigger purchases uh, saved the day. Uh, this is not one of them. This is Gauntlet 2 for the NES. This is one of those uh, games we got from an online auction that chose to put their stickers right there. And when we removed them, that was the result. Even with heat, because the sticker underneath here is a sticker. So if we use heat on it, it's just taking that whole thing off. So that was the result. These games are a little devalued since then. $8, unfortunately, plus shipping. Sold like a 1983 Cabbage Patch Wakuza. Or Kuza. From the Wakuza Valley. My apologies. There he is. Right here. Adorable. Never been out of the box. This is a Kuza. I believe he's like a, supposed to be like a tiger of some sort. Uh, his paperwork's still in there and everything. We had so many people. One person messaged us two separate occasions asking us about this thing um, and just nobody ever pulled the trigger on them we had them for probably about a month or so now and finally somebody stepped up paid thirty dollars plus shipping sold a rainbow bright thermos this came with that psychedelic um, lunchbox you sold with all the flowers on it there's the rainbow bright thermos would go to the Rainbow Bright lunchbox. You guys have these thermoses when you were a kid? I remember these things. You had this like little like sippy thing on it that never worked properly. Like the straw would always fall off the bottom of it. <laughs> Not the greatest thermos in the world. And then it had like this cup. You remember you just and then you <laughs> so lame. <laughs> But we had them. I, I think I had mine was GI Joe, I believe, and I wish I still had that thing because it'd probably be worth some money. But there it is, Rainbow Bright Thermos, ten dollars plus shipping. Sold a vintage Bruce Springsteen shirt in the E Street Band, uh, size extra large, uh, '90s T-shirt, Bruce Springsteen. There we go, Bruce Springsteen, uh, right here. Uh, sold for ten bucks. Plus shipping came uh, with that lot of uh, shirts we bought off of Craig's friend. Sold a bunch of uh, WWF programs from various events. Uh, number 214, 224, 225, 226, 229, and 230. 
So whoever owned these went to a lot of events. There's the one on the front right there. I don't know who that is. Um, I do know Randy Savage here on the back. The macho man, Randy Savage. But uh, the guy in the front, I just don't know. I'm sure some of you out there will know who he is. Um, these all sold for $40, plus shipping wrestling memorabilia sells very well. So the Gorillas, the band, the Gorillas, um, Cyborg Noodle shirt. I guess this is the Cyborg Noodle right here. Um, gorillas, for those of you that don't know, they were a band popular in the early to late 2000s. And they were weird because their live concerts were just cartoons. And the band was there, but they were not seen. And so it was all these kind of cartoons. It was pretty interesting. Uh, this is size small, sold for $12 plus shipping. Also came in that lot from Craig's friend. Um, sold another pair of these pants. Uh, I don't think it's to the same person. Is it to the same person? No. Different person. Weird. Sold two different styles of the same pants on to different people on the same day. These are the Abercrombie and Fitch uh, Jungle Leaf Chino. These are in blue, though, as you can see. Uh, size 34. The other ones were also size 34. 16 bucks for those, plus shipping. And the last for this dismal sales day is a glass insulator. These used to go on top of power lines and phone lines and such. I think mostly phone lines. Um, blue insulator, Hemingway number 40. 10 bucks for this. Free shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday, June 30th. Stormy Wednesday here in Pittsburgh. We're having some pretty severe thunderstorms today. They've blown through thus far, but more on the horizon. That's summer in Pittsburgh for you, though. Um, <laughs> the sales work. Um, I, we, uh, we had a pretty slow Tuesday, and then like I told you yesterday, we started a sale, so 20% off sale again, just across the board. Uh, we did exclude some of the higher valued items, um, things like a few of the mostly the dolls that you saw us buy. So all those those uh, doll heads and things like that, those are pretty much excluded from the sale along with a few other things. But uh, everything else is included. The vast majority of the store is on sale right now, and it has great results. Wednesdays have been kind of crappy lately, and this one was a good one. We uh, sold a total of 32 things today. Um... There's a handful. I know I sometimes I tell you guys the total amount sold, um, and, you know, I say 32 things, and every now and then you'll see, like, 29. That's because um, Sarah sells uh, Avon and Color Street Nails uh, through uh, uh, on eBay. And uh, some of them, and I don't really talk about them, so um, these are, like, the Color Street Nail strips that she sells. Um, so... Every now and again, you'll see that happen. Uh, there's a link to her store down in the description below if you guys have any interest in any of that stuff. Uh, but I don't typically talk about them because we're not 100% certain she should be selling them on eBay. So, there's that. Um, so, first on the list today is this. It's a uh, very heavy Mark Buchanan Pele, Pele shirt. T-shirt. T-shirt. How about a sweatshirt? It's a sweatshirt. <laughs> Pelly Pelly sweatshirt. Uh, size double XL. Sold for $15. Plus shipping. It is a heavy sweatshirt. <laughs> it's like 94 degrees outside right now. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> Next up. Sold to Dashiki. No. That's the pattern of the dashiki right there. It's uh, blue and yellow with a little red in it. Um, sold for $16 plus shipping. I think this might be the last of them. I don't think we got too many of them. Uh, this is the last pair of uh, Abercrombie and Fitch sweatpants. These ultra super soft sweatpants that I love so much that I must have someday. $14.40 plus shipping. The result, if you guys missed last week's uh, episodes on um, what sold, the result sometimes of these sales is uh, things that we've had for a very long time 
get out of here like these these are two ranger and time paperback books um they're just children's books uh we got these at the bins a long time ago three dollars and twenty cents for both of these but uh it does have that result where a lot of this older stale inventory do get kind of pushed out um Next up, this is a vintage 1973 West Virginia license plate. Um, interesting story behind this license plate. This license plate was sent back to us. So return to sender, sent back to us. Uh, contacted the buyer. The buyer said, hey, oh yeah, I don't have access to that address anymore. Uh, give me a little bit of time and I will get you the new address. Followed up with him a few times after that. No response. Um, eventually just refunded his money uh, and put it back up for sale. This was... Uh, this has probably been going on for about a year now. Um, so the no response just went on for about a year. And finally, uh, about four months ago, I refunded his money. And then we just put this back on for sale recently because it just kind of got tucked away and never... Never got put up back up for sale. So $13.20 for the uh, license plate. Market that's kind of jumped the shark, if you guys haven't noticed, are these. Um, we bought a fair amount of them when the market was in, was decent on them, but now they're they're definitely falling off. These are Vera Bradley bags. Um, they used to have quite a market for them. This one sold for 9 bucks, free shipping. Now they're just taking up space. One of the first... Creepy dolls to sell out of the lot. Is this little girl? She's kind of creepy. Not as creepy. Could be worse. Um, this is a antique porcelain bisque small doll, five inches, made in Japan. Um, Sixteen dollars plus shipping for this little girl. Sold a record. Uh, everybody knows this record. Uh, this is the Beach Boys, Endless Summer. This is a repressing uh, of this record, 180 gram, gram, bleh, 180 gram vinyl for this. Uh, still sealed, never opened. Uh, 24 bucks for the Beach Boys, plus shipping. Next up, Heritage Book. Uh, this is Henry James Daisy Miller. block in my face maybe that'll help you guys out anyways i promise you it says daisy miller on it 14 dollars free shipping for the book but if i'm a camera hates those books for some reason um we sold the house of miniatures this came from a um I believe an estate sale you know what this might have come from the funeral home sale the house of miniatures wouldn't surprise me. That looks like something that we would have bought there. Um, this is just kind of like some dollhouse um, furniture. $21.50 for this. Plus shipping. Next step. Uh, not this. Two Under Armour things in there that are both gray and I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, Under Armour shorts sold a bunch of these. Men's size large. Uh, these sold for 8 bucks Plus shipping. No, not, no tags on those why they sold so cheap um from an auction last saturday didn't film it uh, we got a bunch of little figurines these are smurfs um they're little porcelain figurines of the smurf there's smurfette in there uh i'm not sure who the other ones are um the smurfette golf doctor it says here and uh, she played golf um ten dollars plus shipping on those uh, another auction. These are uh, maps, vintage travel maps and brochures from 1930. Pretty cool. Miami Beach back then. Pretty awesome. And then we've got some other maps. Old maps sell really well. Um, and they're normally marked down pretty cheap at uh, garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, and so forth. $12 for all these, plus shipping. Sold these shoes. I thought these would have been a little bigger of a winner than they were. Um, these are Saks Fifth Avenue uh, leather loafers. Um, they're still brand new with the tags. They still have tags on the bottom of them. Um, they look kind of like that. I mean, they're cool looking shoes. Um, leather loafers from Saks Fifth Avenue. 
Um, originally, well, I guess this was uh, marked down at their um, outlet store. Originally, they were 150 bucks on sale for 89. We sold them for 25 dollars plus shipping. <laughs> Thought they we had them up there. We had them up there around 50 when we first got them, and just weren't selling. Uh, another one of those little tiny shoes. Uh, <laughs> Getting a little worried when we bought all these that nobody wanted them, and now they seem to be pretty much selling daily. Um, this is just the right shoe, Rain uh, Jeweled Heel Pump. Okay. So that's what it looks like there. If it stopped focusing on this box over here, we'd be in business. Um, this was from 1999, sold for eight bucks, plus shipping. Next tip. It's some Adidas. This is an Adidas uh, shirt right here, new with the tags, as you can see. Um, this is a uh, jersey, Adidas jersey, new with the tags, men's medium, ten dollars plus shipping. Sold, sold some Hanes um, Ultra Silk pantyhose. Buyer's note: Please ship them discreetly. Okay, um, these are vintage pantyhose, probably from the 1990s. Uh, $2.75, plus shipping. Sold on another Adidas shirt. I was gonna run on Adidas shirts yesterday. This is a Adidas, um, it's called a Camp 13 Formation Red Soccer Jersey. Um, sold for $14.40, new with the tags, plus shipping. This one's been with us for a while too. Um, we bought this last summer. Um, somebody told us people like hard rock stuff, and so I saw this for a dollar and bought it. Uh, it's been with us for a while. It's a uh, hard rock cafe hat. Uh, it's got kind of all the names of the hard rock cafes on there. Uh, Five dollars plus shipping. Apparently, people don't like hard rock cafe stuff that much. <laughs> uh, next up, more Vampirella. I missed those Vampirellas at that auction. They went for crazy money. Somebody was a collector and wanted them badly because four Vampirellas for $180 wasn't going to make us anything. Uh, from 1976, it's this number 56 Vampirella. Got her red bathing suit on and people are trying to eat her. I imagine those are zombies. Uh, tw a hun uh, 120 $11.20. I wish it was $120. $11.20 plus shipping. Sold a, that Under Armour shirt that you saw me grab for the, before the shorts. It's a pretty cool one. I'm surprised it took as long as it did to sell. This is an Under Armour running shirt. New with the tags. Uh, Heat Gear Men's Size Medium sold for $15.60 plus shipping. Had some Game Gear, I'm sorry, Game Boy games um, that uh, were left over from a lot we bought and these were kind of the not one that people really desired. We sold uh, this Monsters Inc. Game Boy game and this uh, Buzz Lightyear Game Boy game right here. Um, we just lotted them together, sold them for six bucks plus shipping. We already made our money out of that lot, so uh, just wanted to kind of move those along, as they say. Next up. Uh, you saw Sarah grab these at that uh, thrift store that we had. These are Brother label uh, cartridges for a label maker. I believe this is for the TC20 is what this is for. Label maker. Um, $15.50. Free shipping on those. Next up, we uh, sold a lot of uh, Avon lip balm here. Right there. Uh, this is the Dew Kiss Avon Lip Balm. Ten dollars plus shipping for those. And last for today, this is uh, Fable Covers: The Art of James Jean, New Edition. Uh, we got these at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Pretty cool. I imagine these are just a bunch of covers, complete covers of James Jean from Marvel. Um, Eighteen dollars plus shipping. Buyer note says, thank you and greetings from Berlin. So this is going to Germany. If you happen to be a viewer, thanks for watching. But, wow, going all the way to Germany. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today is Thursday, July 1st. <laughs> and 
the summer's flying by. Didn't even remember June. Um, so yeah, we're into July, coming up on the 4th of July weekend. Uh, something I did want to let you guys know about that coming up over the weekend, you may notice um, a lack of a Sunday video. Um, just because Saturday we're going to be actually doing some things with friends, having a little party at our place, so uh, probably not going to be doing a lot of thrifting on the 3rd. So, sorry about that, but, you know, we deserve a break too. <laughs> so, uh, just kind of an FYI for you guys coming up this weekend. We're going to be a video short of my usual amount of videos. So, uh, we got some sales this week. Still have the 20% off sale going all weekend long. Try and jumpstart some sales for the 4th of July weekend. Um, today was pretty good. So, starting off with this, um, we bought a bunch of old Mad, magaz Mad magazines uh, from an auction, and <laughs> we've been really curious that they weren't really selling, and then this one sold. Uh, this is a Mad Magazine from December 1957. There's Alfred E. Newman right on there. The hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil look. Um, $14.40 for this, plus shipping. Sold some raffia right here. I don't know exactly what this is, but it's raffia. I imagine that's the name of the plant. It's like a dried grass people use for crafts and such. We got a bunch of it at the bins. Uh, a while back, and you know, we've been selling through it pretty steadily. Um, this sold for four dollars plus shipping. Sold a golf shirt. This golf shirt's been with us for a while. We paid a dollar for it at a thrift store. Uh, golf shirts just aren't really big sellers. There's a lot of them out in the market, so it seems like uh, there's a lot of competition. So probably best to steer clear of the golf shirts. This is a PGA golf shirt, uh, four bucks. For the, I'm sorry, seven dollars free shipping on the golf shirt. Uh, sold an Abercrombie and Fitch shirt, it just has a big red A and an F on it. Um, there's the F, uh, just a black and red shirt from um, it is vintage, I believe it's from the 90s. Sold for nine dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. Sold a dress, it's a sleeveless gray dress. Uh, Massimo women's size small dress right here. Uh, it's just a gray dress. Uh, we found it at the bin, so paid less than a dollar for it. Sold it for eight dollars and forty cents plus shipping. Next up, be forewarned, we sold some of those dolls. So a little creepy in here. Sold this one. This is a 18-inch uh, German doll. It feels like it's stuffed with like some sort of grass. Um, this is a bisque head doll. Um, needs some repair. Her arm's kind of dangling there, and uh, yeah, she probably needs a little, little paint or something. I don't know. I'm just glad it's gone. <laughs> Forty bucks for this, plus shipping. Uh, put them over here, as to not have to look at them so much. Uh, next up, we sold two of these. Uh, there's two of them in here. Uh, these are the Unknown Soldier comic books. Um, these aren't super valuable. They are older, though. They are from 1976. To sold both of them for 7 bucks, plus shipping. Sold another comic. This one's kind of cool. Uh, I thought for sure somebody would like this. This is the Karate Kid and the DC Universe. So I guess the Karate Kid teams up with Superman and a few other DC uh, comic book heroes. Seven bucks for this one. Free shipping. Next up is uh, those trains. Remember those trains we got on uh, last Sunday's video for garage sales is these Tyco trains. Um, there is a few of them here. This is one of the more common ones here along with uh, this car here. Uh, these are typically the more common ones. The ones that were worth the money in, in this uh, lot were these ones. The Silver Streak. These are actually cast iron, I believe, or cast aluminum. They are heavy. Um, and then there's a Silver Street Caboose here. These two were individually were worth probably 40 bucks, um, maybe a little more than that. Um, these weren't in perfect shape, so um, we did um, price this to sell. Um, $45 for the trains plus shipping. So we made 15 bucks on it. Um, trains are tough. And when I was there and I looked them up, I kind of thought, oh yeah, these will probably be worth the money. And they... They would have been if they were in a little better shape. But 15 bucks, you know, I'll take it. And we were asking more for the trains, just so you know. And then our sale started, so that's 20% off of what we were asking. So, not a big deal. Take the 15 bucks. 
Next up, uh, these are some Under Armour men's fleece jogging pants right here. Um, they're just kind of like Under Armour sweatpants almost, but they are a slimmer fit. They do have like the elastic on the ankles. Um, so they're true jog jogging pants. Size extra large, sold for seven bucks plus shipping. No tags on those. Sold a lot of four of these um, Sports A Field magazines. Um, they are from 1959 and 1960. This came in that lot that we got at the auction um, with a bunch of old sporting magazines in them. Um, we were just talking about how we're really surprised that they haven't sold. We've sold, um, this would be our fifth now in the last couple days. So a um, lot of four of these uh, sold for 12 bucks plus shipping. Paid $20 for the whole box. So we are well into the pure profit at this point. Next up are some wooden mallards. Um, we got these quite a while ago at an estate sale. Um, these are not your super collectible mallards. They are wooden. They are hand painted. Um, it's been a while. We thought these would sell a long time ago. $20 for the pair. There's two of these plus shipping. Next up is another creepy doll. This is a antique composite 10 inch doll prairie dress and bonnet hat. Uh, she sold for $35 plus shipping. Sold a record. Um, this is a Duran Duran Duranatorus, I guess. <laughs> Notorious. Three track original. Uh, this is basically a single. It's Notorious on one side. Uh, Notorious 45 mix on the other side, and then Winter Marches On is also on this record. Uh, $5.50 plus shipping. Next up, just, just warning you now. Uh, it's an antique European doll head. Yeah, just terror is all I can see in this one. Um, she's got some repair work that needs done on the head. Um, she is original though and very old. 30 bucks for just the head plus shipping. Sold a Rock Republic fake leather jacket uh, right here. Right here. Um, I believe we found this at the bins. Um, it is a size large uh, jacket. Sold it for 16 bucks plus shipping. Sold another record. <laughs> this one is odd. It's music inspired by Star Wars and other galactic funk. <laughs> but that, uh, it's just like a, uh, I guess it's a cover record. Yeah, it would be covered. Uh, Imperial Attack, The Desert and the Robot Auction, Princess Appears. I don't know, I guess it's just music inspired by Star Wars. Kind of cool. Um, we actually have two of these. We got these in a lot of uh, records we got at an auction. Um, $11 plus shipping for those. Sold another creepy doll thing, sort of. This is a vintage hand warmer. Oh dear. It's like a, you put your hands in it to keep your hands warm. My hands will not fit in this, but that's what it is for. $11 plus shipping for this. Sold some, sold some shuttlecocks. Here they are. There we go. Yeah, vintage shuttlecocks. Regent and Carlton. Sold for $9.60 plus shipping. I'm a child, I know. Sold another doll. There's going to be a lot of them coming up, I'm sure. This one is a vintage 20 inch ideal composition baby doll uh, made in the USA sleepy eyes it's because his eyes open and close so scary um, this sold for 40 bucks plus shipping next up one more doll this is a vintage 1950 Betsy McCall 8 inch doll she's not really creepy for head but stay up. Well, okay, I guess it doesn't. Um, so she's kind of creepy then. And here she is. She's got a little yellow dress on. Uh, she sold for $25 plus shipping. Hello everybody. Welcome back to a new day. Today is Friday. July 2nd. Yay. Happy Friday. Um, today was really good. 
Uh, today we sold 34 things. So if this seems a little rushed, it's just because, you know, it's a lot. And I don't want to bore you to death with just this sold and this sold. So I'm going to go a little faster than normal, but I will still try to be as thorough as possible. Starting with this, um, this is a Maroon 5 World 2015 World Tour t-shirt right here, upside down, uh, right here. This sold for nine bucks plus shipping. Got those in that bulk deal with Craig's friend. We got, uh, finally, one of these sold. We bought a bunch of these vintage Disney sweatshirts. Thought they would be a hot commodity, and they are not. Um, overpaid for them at this, uh, well, didn't overpay for them, but um, paid $25 each for these things. Um, this one sold for $28 plus shipping, so not a good investment here, and they stink. They smell like perfume, so um, yeah, old vintage Disney sweatshirts. Didn't work out for us. Maybe they will for you, but I would be weary. Next up, we got some Gap uh, corduroy pants. These are Gap Yep, corduroy pants. Um, they're blue corduroys, new with the tag, size 32, 32, sold for 14 bucks plus shipping. Next up, a label maker. This label maker. It's uh, the P Touch PT1280. Uh, you saw us get this at the garage sale. The people that recognized me, garage sale. Um, sold for $14.80, free shipping. Next up, a friend of ours gave this to us and said, Here, you want to sell this? I said, Sure. It's a. Uh, it's a board game called Funglish. Uh, brand new, sealed, never been opened. Uh, $14.40, free shipping. It's gonna get creepy. <laughs> it sold an antiqued German doll. Cloth canvas body, um, uh, bisque head right here. She's not as creepy until you pan down a little bit and she gets a little creepy with that leather body. <laughs> but, um, you know, she's got pigtails, so she's Kind of not creepy, I guess. Thirty-five dollars for her, plus shipping. Next up, some uh, these are Reebok men's three-pack tank tops. Uh, these are just your standard white tank tops. There's three of them in there. Uh, sold for ten dollars and forty cents, plus shipping. Sold a record. That's a good one. Um, I also know who these people are. Uh, Band on the Run. Paul McCartney, I believe this was before they were called Wings, but Paul McCartney, uh, five bucks for the record, plus shipping. Sold some shorts. These are cool. I like these. These are Under Armour shorts. They're green and orange. Under Armour shorts. Men's size large, ten bucks for these, plus shipping. Another record. Another classic record. This is Billy Joel, The Stranger really good record the picture just looks like a that looks like a mob restaurant picture right there <laughs> but uh yeah billy joel the stranger six dollars and fifty cents plus shipping got this at the garage sale uh same video that uh we got the label maker off of more vampirella uh, need to find more of these uh 1974 vampirella number 35 guess you forego the uh swimsuit this cover uh, sold for eleven dollars and twenty cents plus shipping. Sold another record. <laughs> Back in the record business. This is the worst of Jefferson Airplane, not the best. The worst of Jefferson Airplane. Uh, four bucks for that plus shipping. Sold a statue. Uh, we got this statue at an estate sale a long time ago, and. Uh, it just kind of sat around. We got a couple offers on it. Nobody really wanted to step up and pay some money for it. So here it is. It's a Hawaiian statue. Not sure exactly what that name reads right there, but um, yeah, it's like a kind of like a bookend. But um, wood statue, fourteen dollars and eighty cents plus shipping. Sold some um, ceramic paint. This all came with the uh, the dolls. This is Hasburg's Phoenix ceramic paint really cool super old too uh, we sold two of them that one's uh white gold and this one's green gold right here um nine dollars and sixty cents 
plus shipping. Sold a lot of Beckett basketball magazines. They're right down here. Um, these are just price guides. They used to put out price guides um, monthly on cards back in the 80s and 90s. There's the one on the front. Um, and that's really all these are. Um, so right here, just basically giving future values, current values of certain cards. Now we have the internet, so <laughs> no need for things like this. Um, not a lot of value to these things. $10.50 for the whole lot. There's... Um, what there's one two three four five six seven of them in here so um not a ton of value but you know still sold them ten dollars and fifty cents plus ship as i was editing that video i remembered those magazines went out to a viewer so thank you so much melissa for the business we're going to include some stickers for you and i uh, hope you really enjoy the magazines sold uh we got these at an auction uh, a little while back these are ray wade rose Tea Circus series. Um, a lot of 14 glazed ceramic figurines. Let's see if I can get one of them to focus. There you go. They're just like, they almost look like chess pieces, but they're not. Um, pretty cool. Um, nine bucks plus shipping for those. I sold some Express Men's uh, shorts. We sell a lot of these and they sell pretty well. They're not terribly high in value, but they do sell well. Uh, Express Man shorts, size 33, $15 plus shipping for these. Sold some heads, finally. Um, these aren't creepy. <laughs> That's all I can say, is they're just not creepy. These are reproduction heads of the Victorian era. Um, somebody painted this one, but um, they are reproductions of German of German doll heads. So they're not, they were just made from the same mold, but they're just made, um, you know, more recently. So they're not tremendously high value, but people still like them and they do uh, have some value. Um, so for the two smaller ones that you saw here, 20 bucks, and then for this big one, $20. So 40 bucks for the, the set here all went to one buyer, plus shipping. Uh, sold some Land's End jeans. Surprisingly enough, I didn't even know Land's End made jeans, but they do. Land's End women's jeans. Um, these are size 22. Um, new with the tags. Tags are right there. Uh, sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Sold a video game, Tishnu, for the PlayStation. Uh, just by itself, no. No manual or anything, just comes in this. Uh, five, or I'm sorry, eight dollars for that, plus shipping. Heritage books are still sticking around. We got this one sold today. This is uh, Joseph Conrad, Youth Typhoon and the End of the Tether. Just three books on one, maybe. Right there. Um, this one sold for eight dollars and forty cents, plus shipping. Sold some Wrangler jeans. I don't sell a lot of Wranglers. Um, these must have been a bins find. Uh, these are Wrangler jeans right here. So modern Wrangler jeans, nothing vintage here. Size 36, 29. Uh, regular fit, $9.60 plus ship. Sold another book. I've been waiting for this one to sell. We sold it once when we first got it and nobody paid for it. And now uh, finally sold it again. This is the Making and Shaping and Treating of Steel by U.S. Steel. This belongs in this city, that's for sure. But um, this is a big book, too. Uh, $10 must be a lot of work to shape steel. <laughs> $10 plus shipping for this. Tank top. I'm telling you. Next winter, it's all I'm buying is tank tops. Buying, I'm going to have a massive stockpile of tank tops. This is uh, uh, Empire Surplus tank top, new with the tags, nine bucks plus shipping. Very tropical looking tank top. Sold a dress, but I think we're calling this a moo moo. It says moo moo cover up, one dress, one size. Um, leisure wear, tropical, funky moo moo. Right here. Um, this sold for seven bucks plus shipping. Sold some doll parts. Right here, <laughs> like a bag of doll parts coming your way. Uh, so it's a torso, two torsos, four arms, four legs. So would almost make two complete dolls if you had heads. Uh, Twenty bucks for the doll parts, plus shipping. 
Sold some shoes. I, I don't, they, these were great too, and I'm, I'm surprised they took as long as they did to sell. Um, these are Reeboks All Terrain Spirit Solar Yellow and Orange and Black shoes. Whew. There they are. Reebok running shoes. Never been worn. Um, they don't have tags on them, so we couldn't sell them as new, but $24 for the shoes plus shipping. It's one of the weirder sales we've ever had. We sold a very big lot of farm ephemera booklets. Most of this stuff is um, about pig sales and sow sales. There's some of it right here. It's a pamphlet from a uh, Hampshire hog sale from 1949. And then we've got uh, Hampshire Ho Swine Breeders Association right here from 1950. Very strange. We have letters to different uh, um, different farmers in here. We have receipts. We have checks, canceled checks, obviously. Um, all kinds of stuff in this. It's really cool and it's really interesting. We just didn't think there was a market for it. Like, who wants to collect stuff that from people that bought pigs? But barely somebody did. Twenty four dollars for all this, plus shipping. All right, guys, and that's it. For this week and today um it's been a good week we ran that sale for independence day so things are moving right along um very pleased i thought we'd be a lot slower than we are this week so really really good uh, and that's about it we are going to be doing that 900 subscriber giveaway i know i told you it was going to be thursday and i didn't have the time on thursday so we're going to do it saturday probably and make it a sunday video this weekend just so you know and you're not worried about me we aren't going to be doing very much sourcing we are taking a little bit of a break over the july 4th holiday so you'll probably see uh, a video of us out in the thrifting uh, either monday or tuesday so don't be concerned we're fine we're just taking a little breather this week and that's about it if you guys haven't already getting very close to that thousand subscriber and that's going to be a bigger a giveaway actually going to do a couple different things with that video so if you haven't click the subscribe button we'd really appreciate it and uh, you'll know when that giveaway comes up and you'll also know when we do other things so and if you like this video give the video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and that's about it thanks so much for watching bye good day sir